Yeah, I'm, I'm going to explain it in a couple of minutes when everybody has joined. It will show up in my mailbox in about half an hour. Yeah, half an hour is too, too early for an interim. You need to check it one minute before it starts. This is Ira. I did see your note and read it, Karsten. Great. Yeah, I thought this was a five minute uh, thing uh, that really took me more than an hour to <laughs> pull this off. Uh, um, it's more complicated than one thinks. I guess we'll probably, probably have as many people here as what we expect to have. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Francesca is having poor audio quality because she's decided she should schedule for traveling in the middle of the, after having scheduled the meeting, which is not nice of her, but that's okay. So basically what we've got is Jim, can, can you go to your audio settings and switch off the automatic change of the volume? Oh, am I being... I think that now? doesn't quite work on your computer, like it doesn't on mine. There's that, and there's also the fact that it's it's early in the morning and my voice hasn't woken up yet. It normally goes up about half an octave to three quarters of an octave in the first hour and a half of the morning, which makes a huge difference when I try to talk into one of these things. Yeah, yes, you're yeah. still fading. Did you switch off that setting? Yes, I switched off the setting. Okay. Um, so basically, we need to just go through the list of what's still open and who has open reviews. Yeah, before we do that, let, let me quickly explain what I said in the uh, message 15 minutes ago. <clears throat> so I, I submitted uh, three new versions um, of, of the CBOWIS document. Uh, uh, dash 10 is just the roll up of the, the changes that were made based on the working group last call comments. So this still needs to be checked for content. And then we have to move from RFC XML version two to RFC XML version three. And because that brings a lot of formatting uh, changes, 
I thought it would be good to have uh, those formatting changes isolated um, in, in a sequence of, of version updates. Um, so dash 12 is the same thing as dash 10, I hope, um, just with uh, uh, v3 formatting. And because v3 makes a lot of uh, small changes to the list symbols, um, I, I put in another version in between dash 11, which just has those list symbol uh, changes, or at least most of them. And um, so the, the, there are a number of versions to look at now, but uh, 10 should be exactly identical to 12 uh, with respect to content and should, should just uh, uh, be consistent with the new conventions. Uh, and of course, the nice thing about the new conventions is that we now have a nice HTML version to uh, look at if, if that is your thing. Okay, so whose reviews did you cover in 10? I know mine is in there. Were there any others? Um, th there were some typos uh, and, and stuff. Um, let me check the history. Um, Yeah, there, there were typos from Jeremy, from uh, somebody else. So it's a pretty quick uh, uh, a diff. If you look at the diff that that I uh, reference uh, in the uh, email message. Um, uh, something's broken with the tool server right now. Okay, so maybe it's not just me, huh? <laughs> it's not just you, Michael. Well, maybe, maybe you broke it, but... Uh... I think it's uh, switching between two servers and one of them is broken or something like that just because it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I can't pull this up right now, but it really should be uh, Jim's changes and uh, a few typos. Okay, so what are the open issues that we still need to close? Well, the, the main issue is the uh, map uh, duplicate thing where, where I haven't managed to generate a text proposal yet. I think we were pretty clear in the meeting what we wanted to do, uh, but this still has to be expressed in, in text. So that, that will be the next uh, thing to do. And there is Francesca's uh, review. I think that should be it. Oh, I also started um, talking to implementers to review this version. And I expect that, that implementers will uh, submit uh, some, some comments during the next few uh, weeks. This is really hard to, to do based on our uh, working group deadline. So I, I would expect some some op random observations from implementers uh, to come in, in the next couple of weeks. Um, there are two open issues from Lawrence in the database still. Yes. Let me find that. I was hoping he might be here to explain those. So I have no idea what the subkind thing is. Um, I would agree with you. I have no idea what that is. 
I can see putting a hyphen in there, but not space. And then there is a request to to sweep for a remaining uh, terminology variation in enclosed value versus enclosed data, data item uh, versus tag content. So that, that's actually still a to-do. Okay, so right now, if I understand you, you've got three to-dos on your, uh, do you think you believe you have three to-dos on your list? Duplicate keys, Francesca's review, and issue 138. Yes, and th there's also a uh, uh, to-do to actually get implementers to uh, submit comments. So the, the ones I've got were, were pretty positive. I, I, I asked one guy to actually send them to the mailing list. You, you may have seen them. Um, so I think it's good to get other uh, implementers to look at this and, and see uh, what they like, what they don't like. So if you happen to know some implementers, please nudge them as well. Uh, the implementer I use has already been very vocal. Good. Peter's been very forthcoming on things. Oh, Lawrence is joining. Hello, sorry. Sorry I was late. I had my, my FIDO meeting ran over and more coffee. Yeah, we were just wondering about uh, issue 139. Look at that. Just give me a second here. Subkind versus subkind. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, when I looked up in the dictionary, subkind isn't a word. No. Yeah. It's in mine. I even put a reference to, to a dictionary in the issue. It's not Merriam-Webster. Um, yeah, I think there's even a Wikipedia page on sub subkind. Just type. I, mean, I don't think it's unclear. I just think it's not in a lot of. It wasn't in the dictionaries that uh, I uh, looked at. She's not German. You can't just make up words by stringing some other ones together. <laughs> sure, you uh, can. Have to steal the word from another language. Yes, there we go. Yeah. You just do it in German and, and then translate. Well, the, the that's right. Okay. <laughs> the, the problem is that uh, uh, there are Germans who are shaping the English language as well, and they tend to introduce all kinds of uh, things. So. Um, yeah, I'm finding subkind everywhere, so uh, I'm, I'm not sure the fact that Merriam Webster hasn't picked it up yet is, is uh, very uh, consequential. I also found it in multiple places. Yeah, I've seen it multiple six or places. Seven, six or seven definitions in Google to dictionary. <laughs> stuff. dictionary.com I am however disappointed to learn that the German for subkind is subkind <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that's true it, it's, it's such an obvious concept um, what does my dictionary say Unterart Unterart I think we can probably just punt that one to the uh, RSC editor and let them decide whether it's a word. <laughs> yes, okay. So, Lawrence, can I close this? Sure. Pardon me? I didn't hear you.
Yes, you can. Thank you. Uh, Francesca, you said that you thought that Jeffrey had a review. I cannot find it. There is one from November 24th. I missed that. The only things that I have from him are handling duplicate key maps. Maybe it didn't get into my world. He sent something to the list on November 24th. Sending the URL to the chat. So that makes another to do item for me. Okay. Um, when do you think you're going to have text for key maps? Uh, Not that anyone's going to do anything in the next two weeks. Well, I hope before these the next two weeks. Uh, I hope tomorrow. Okay. Because right now, that's the only big item I'm seeing that's on the yes. list. Yes. Okay. Um, so... You can get that out and have people review it. We have a meeting scheduled for the fifteenth of January. Do you want a, a second working group last call after that, or do you just want a, a call for people to review that specific piece of text? That's a good question. So um, I don't think we have uh, made any substantive change, except for the maps thing, which may, may be considered a substantive change. Um, so, uh, Depending on how we handle the the maps info and and how how good the the agreement is on that, um, I think we we might actually need a second working group last call. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and you get out a version at least with the new the, the new maps stuff. You don't get the other things. That's not going to worry me as much. Putting the new map stuff in, I think, is going to be important to implementers. Yes. Um, and then we can tr try to get comments before the 15th, and on the 15th, we can decide whether we're ready to send it up to the IESG. Does anybody have any objections to that for a plan? Nope. I lost my tool. I lost the Etherpad too. Okay. Um, does anybody have any other issues they want to raise at this time? Well, I just want to mention that uh, I haven't done my full reread yet, so. We might get some late working group last call comments from me. Um, okay. Tim and Karsten, I have a question. Um, is this the last intended activity of Seabor Working Group, or will there be a recharter, or is there more coming? 
we have already had a recharter. Oh, right. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. We did. Never mind. So there are a couple of things on on the, on the list. Okay. Uh, the, the one piece of good news I saw, I think it was yesterday, is we should see an off 48 for for Cbor sequences start in the next week or so, since it is now actually with the final final editors in the RFC editor queue. Yeah, they, they are still waiting for Alexei to uh, uh, take off a couple of comments uh, that, that came in late. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not sure how, how quickly Alexei will respond and that will uh, control how quickly the RFC editor can go ahead. Okay, that makes sense. So if, if anybody uh, happens to talk to Alexei, uh, you might want to remind him. Yeah, and when, when CBOBIS is done, we, we definitely should uh, focus on CDDL again. And there are still lots of interesting tags coming in. So, so today I got a, a tag review request for somebody who wants to define tags for uh, freak versions of UTF-8, like CISU-8 and WTF-8 and, and uh, what else is uh, out there. Very interesting. Okay, um, so since I don't think we have any other business, why don't we go ahead and close up for the day and we'll talk to you on the 15th. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.